The first time I used a MOOC was a Sonic 6. This was a version of before the Mini MOOC came up. It was in a suitcase, you could open it. And this was in the studio in Cologne where we recorded all of our first albums. Not, not the very first one, but the second one, Schwingung, third one. Three or four albums we recorded there, and we spent a lot of time in the studio. And I used it for the first time for the album starring Rosie. Uh, the engineer, the owner of the studio, he bought always new equipment, and so I tried a little bit with this one. But I used it only for some parts, and just I, I didn't know very much about it. And uh, I really began to work with it. 77, something like this. Yes, I, I used the mini MOOC for, from set, end of 77, 78. Basically, I used it uh, for the album Correlations in 78. So I used it for many parts, for bass lines, for, for percussion parts. I love the sound, I love the, I love the uh, uh, facilities, very easy and, and very simple to, to, to handle. It was just a sound, it was a very good sound. Basically because of the filter, the, the three oscillators. And uh, yeah, that's what I like, a very fat sound. I, I mean, the synthesizer sounds were in the beginning only, only uh, for uh, universities, uh, studi big studios, radio studios. They, they, had, they were experimenting with it because they had the money to, to buy it. These were not machines to carry around. They were not really. They were not treated as musical instruments. They were treated as technical installations uh, in studios uh, for research. Uh, and it, it only began in the 70s. I think it was quite a lot big MOOCs, uh, the, the Bob MOOCs, uh, uh, saying that he. In, reduced it to, for the mini MOOC to, to make it popular, that he just put a small keyboard in. Because most of the musicians are not really technicians and they are a bit afraid of it if they don't know it. Uh, so they, this were more the intellectual composers that began to, to work with it. And just the, the jazz musicians, they, they didn't understand it. And when MOOC came up with a mini MOOC, Every jazz musician had his Fender Rhodes and on top the mini MOOC for solo lead voices. This was a standard equipment <laughs> at the time. You have to consider that, that people didn't understand that this is really an instrument to make music with. Uh, so it took some years and some music and that uh, people really uh, began to accept it as, as a musical sound.